We continue to celebrate Black History Month and happening today, an event that celebrates diverse children's literature. The 32nd African American Children's Book Fair takes place at the Pennsylvania Convention Center. CBS News Philadelphia's Rosti Matei is live in our Great Hall for us this morning with two award winning authors to talk about this very special event. I am taking notes, Ross. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Yeah, Jan's got a little one. I've got a little one. So we're both taking notes and a lot of people at home. Let me first introduce our special guest this morning. We have Kelly Starling Lyons as well as David Miller, two highly acclaimed authors who have uh, been going to this amazing book fair for more than 10 years. Hard to believe it's in its 32nd year now. You guys were telling me about how much it's grown in popularity. So, Kelly, let me start with you. What is your favorite part about this book fair? And for anyone who's never been, what is it like actually going there? And you were telling me thousands of people show up. Yeah, so to me, it's like a love, love letter to our community where you see all generations of families that are coming out. You see our educators, our librarians. Everybody's there to celebrate black children's literature and for kids to have a chance to meet the authors and the illustrators that are creating them. First, they get to see themselves as the stars of stories, which matters so much. But secondly, they can look at us and know that they can do it too. You know, they have dreams and they have stories that deserve to be told. And so that's my favorite part, just seeing the joy and all the faces and there's thousands of people that that come out to one of my favorite events. Vanessa works so hard to make sure that she's celebrating us and celebrating the community. And we thank you know wonderful sponsors like you that make it possible. <laughs> so thank you. We're happy to, to take part. In, and th mm -hmm. some of those con connections you mentioned are amazing. David, from your point of view, what's it like connecting with these kids who have either never read you before or mm -hmm. love your work? What's that like? So on a Saturday morning, to have thousands of families come out, of all ages. You have grandmas, granddads, aunts, uncles, the babies, people in strollers and carriages, all coming out to celebrate books. It is an amazing experience. And if you get there early, there are free books, there are giveaways, you get to meet the authors, we get to sign your books. Oftentimes we'll meet an eight year old or a nine year old who's already working on publishing their own book. So it's an absolutely amazing experience, and we just want everybody to come out. And you guys are inspiring so many kids with some of the stories you share, and I'm sure encouraging them to follow those literary dreams. Kelly, let me ask you, you know, this is just a small sampling of some of the works that you right. guys have written. Mm -hmm. What are some of the common themes of your stories that you're trying to impress upon young readers? My stories celebrate family, they celebrate heritage, friendship. Um, I want kids to know that they matter. So I try to center kids and show them as, as agents of change. And I try to celebrate history that has been unsung. So like in the case of Sing a Song, it's our black national anthem, but it's told through five generations of kids that hear the song, grow up and pass it on. And then like my hands tell a story, we have a grandmother and granddaughter making cinnamon bread, but it's really about the stories that the grandmother's hands have told and the stories the little girl's hands will tell one day. So all about empowering and passing on and standing tall. That's beautiful, Thank beautiful you. stuff. And, and David, we got uh, some of yours as well. Yeah. Very colorful on the cover. What, what are some of your themes? So as Kelly indicated, family is sort of a major theme with many of the authors that come out. We believe um, reading is a family and child activity. And particularly, we're trying to compete with uh, Instagram and the internet and so all of our books you'll see a major thrust to get families and children to read together oftentimes you'll see our books you'll see you know rich colors amazing storylines and even in some of my books I have activities for the entire family just a great collection books are always better than social media if you ask so me true. thank so you true. guys for being with us this morning and just want to reiterate that today's book fair happening from 1 to 4 over at the Pennsylvania Convention Center free to attend and everyone is invited so uh, go down bring the whole family and, and pick up some great books. Guys, I'll send it back to you. I loved a good book fair as a kid. Yes. Do you remember going to book fairs and picking out like one or two things that were just going to like take up your entire weekend reading? It'll be, those were amazing, uh, you know, back then. It was great now. Yeah. Yeah. Ross, thank you so much. And once again, that 32nd annual African American Children's Book Fair is taking place today from 1 to 4 at the Pennsylvania Convention Center. And our coverage of Black History Month continues online. You can watch many more stories from across the region right there on CBSPhiladelphia.com.